Hey guys, Jeff here from LivestreamTrading.com. Um, I've had a lot of requests recently to do a video outlining my hotkeys setup or how to set up the hotkeys for TradeZero's Zero Pro platform. So I thought I would take a few moments tonight and go over the settings with you guys. Um, as you can see, the market's closed. It's Sunday night, so I'm not going to be able to test them out with you, but I'll show you exactly how I set them up from scratch, and hopefully you can use that as a guide to set them up uh, to your own preference, or if you want to copy my settings, that might work too. So first thing we're going to do, guys, is we have the platform loaded up. We're going to click on the main menu and then click on hotkeys. It's going to pull up a window like this. Make sure you click in the level two quotes column there and then click on hotkeys. All right. Now let's set up a hotkey as a buy key and we'll use F1 as the shortcut for this uh, buy key. So let's say F1 and then Go over to name, let's call it, let's say you want to set up a hotkey to buy 500 shares. So we'll call this buy 500. The mode you're going to put as window load. The quantity we'll set as 500 shares. The type for me is always limit. The expiration is going to be day. For the route, um, just click the preferred route. Um, right now I'm testing out their smart routes, um, but if you have Arca, Edgex, whatever you want, but for me I'm using smart right now. The price is going to be on the bid and the side of this is gonna be a buy. Simply click the add button and we have added a hotkey. So this is a hotkey, it's the F1 key. When you're clicked in the level two, it's gonna load in order to buy 500 shares at the bid price. You will still press enter to execute the order. So pressing F1 loads the order, pressing enter will execute it. Um, let's now add the sell key. So if F1's our buy key, let's make F12 our sell key. We'll call this one sell 500. The mode is going to be window load. Quantity again is going to be 500. We'll make the type, limit, expiration, day, route, smart. So this is all the same. The price is going to be on the ask side. All right, so this is a sell on the ask. And the side is going to be sell. Let's add the sell key. And there you have it. So now we have a F1 will set us up with a a bid of 500 shares, and F12 will set us up with an offer of 500 shares. Now, one thing that you might notice is a little bit different with, for example, maybe Das Pro or Sterling, is that with those ones, you can actually use your sell order to also short a stock. Uh, the Zero Pro platform is a little bit different. You actually have to have a separate key for short selling. So let's go Shift plus F12 as our short sell key. We'll call this short 500. We'll keep it as a window load. The quantity again is gonna be 500. Type is gonna be limit, expiration, the same route, the same price. We're gonna put that on the ask. And for the side, this time put it as sell short. Press the add button. And now we have three hotkeys set up. F1 to bid, to buy. Uh, F12 to sell on the offer. And shift plus F12 will give us a short. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a hotkey to cover a short sell. So if you're short and you need to cover, you do need to either press the cover button in the level two or set up a hotkey to cover. So since shift F12 was a short um, and F1 was buy, let's go shift F1 for cover. We'll call this cover 500. Again, window load, the quantity, we'll put 500. Type, same limit day we're going to go smart this time it's going to be on the bid and the side is going to be cover okay so that's the basics right there um, of the buy and sell short and cover keys um, as you can see i like to use shift to toggle between shorting and covering versus buying and selling but use just basically two keys for all four of these actions so f1 f12 shift f1 shift f12 now, for example, you might want to make F2 like by 1,000. So you have kind of like increments on your keyboard. So F1's by 500, F2 is by 1,000. So you just follow the same steps if you want to go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you guys some of the other important hotkeys that I use. This is actually one of my favorites, just escape. Just the escape button is the hotkey. We're going to put the mode as cancel. Okay, now what this key is going to do is it's going to cancel the most recent order that you put in the market. Um, so we'll call this cancel last, and it's going to cancel your the last order you put in the market. 
or however you want to set it up based on the type here. I like to do the last order. Um, and then just hit add. That one's really simple. And what that will do is, again, if you put an order, let's say on X to buy 500 shares of the bid, and then you change your mind, just press escape, just press it one time, and that will make your order disappear. It'll cancel the order. If you have five orders out and you press escape a bunch of times, it'll cancel all of your orders. Uh, another thing you could do is you could say like uh, maybe shift escape as a third or a second option for this one, call it cancel all orders basically. And then just, you know, same thing, go cancel and then just say uh, all orders. Okay, so if you do it like that, now if you have a bunch of orders in the market, for some reason you just want to bail on everything, cancel everything, just hold shift, press escape, it'll cancel all of your orders. Okay guys, so the next key I wanna show you is gonna be the increase and decrease quantity hotkey that I use for the level two window to change the size. Uh, this is gonna be key up, so none plus up. This is gonna be just pressing the up key on the keyboard to set that hotkey. We'll call it increase uh, 100 shares. For the mode, put this as the increase decrease mode. This is gonna be for the quantity fields, and we're going to increase the quantity by 100 or whatever you want. You set that however you want, but um, if you set it by 100 and make sure this says increase, hit add. What that will essentially do is allow you to press the up and down key, uh, the up key to increase quantity by 100 shares. So just look right down here. If I press F1 to load my 500 share bid, I can now press the up key to change the quantity size in increments of 100 or whatever you want based on the hockey settings. So let's go back in here. And what we'll do is we'll put uh, the decrease quantity in now. So the, basically the same thing, but this time we're gonna use the down key on the keyboard. We're gonna call this one decrease 100. Same thing, we're gonna use the increase decrease mode, quantity 100 and the type is going to be decreased. It's important that you make sure this is set correctly. So this is our down decreasing quantity hit add So now when I come down here and Press f1 to load a 500 500 share bid limit smart at the current bid price I can now press the up key to increase the quantity of my order if I want before I send it or the down key to decrease it so I do this a lot, like I'll, I'll bid and then I'll just kind of key up the share size that I want sometimes, uh, depending on the situation. So that's how I set the quantities. Now let's go ahead and set the price, which I like to use the left and right keys for. Okay, so we're gonna set up a brand new hotkey now, which is gonna be key right. We're gonna call this uh, price increase. This one is going to be, again, increase, decrease. The field, instead of the quantity, will actually be the price. And we're gonna want that to be by one cent. Increase, hit add. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but as a decreaser. So left key on the keypad, uh, the left arrow is gonna be, we'll call this one, uh, I guess, decrease 100. Same thing, increase, decrease. This is gonna be price by one, uh, sorry, one cent. And but the type is decrease. This time we'll hit add. Perfect, so now what we got is if I press F1, it's gonna load a 500 share order at the bid price. If I press up, it's gonna increase the quantity of shares that I wanna bid. If I press down, it's gonna decrease them. Now, down here on the price column, if I press the left key, it's gonna decrease the price where I'm bidding, right key, increase. So now we have full control over price and quantity just using the up and down and left and right keys on the keyboard. So you're going to kind of get used to what I do is typically I have, you know, uh, my left hand kind of on the F keys, my right hand is on the up and down arrows so I can kind of bid. You get really fast with order entry. I'm like lightning fast with it. Um, I've been trading for 11 years now. I've been using hotkeys for about pretty much the whole time. Uh, pretty much about 10, 10 out of the 11 years. So um, very, very familiar with them, but they're all a little bit different to set up on each platform. So that's the basics right there um, of the setup that I use. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here that I might uh, recommend. I mean, one thing you could do, for example, is where the, we have the right and left keys that increase and decrease the price by one cent. 
Um, if you want to press like maybe shift and right, you could go like increase by say five cents. Okay. Um, that way, like if a stock maybe is getting away and you need to move faster than one cent increments, you can move five cent increments or whatever you really want. But I'll just show you how that would work. So we're gonna hold down the shift key, press the right button, the right uh, arrow on our keyboard to get that hotkey in there. Mode is increase, decrease. This time we'll go price, but we'll increase the price by, instead of 0 0.01, we'll go 0 0.05 increase, add that. Now let's see what happens when I come down here and uh, if, I hold, if I press the right key on its own, it's gonna increase, as you can see, the price by one cent at a time. If I hold shift, we're now going in five cents as I'm pressing the right key with shift down. Other than that, guys, uh, it's, you know, this is actually a really smooth platform. I it took me a week to get used to it, but as far as the hotkeys go, uh, order entry, everything like that, it's it's very smooth. And I've been using these, I've been testing the smart route for about a week now, and the executions have been fast. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, it puts you on edge X when you add liquidity. When you remove liquidity, there's no hesitation. It'll remove the best price possible. It'll take any gateway, on, unlike other smart routes I've seen that actually hesitate to remove the expensive gateways. This one's required to fill you at the best price it can, whatever liquidity available. So even if the only available liquidity is on edge X, this smart route will remove the edge X at the cost of 0 0.003 per share. Um, so I actually really do like the smart route. I think it's well done and uh, the execution has been pretty quick. No real complaints, um, solid platform. I don't use the charts. This is TC2000, which is a charting pr uh, platform that I pay for separately. But that's uh, a video for another time, guys. Hope you had a great weekend, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot from the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments section, or you can always email me, jeff at livestreamtrading.com. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning on the live stream.